This is Shashwan Patrick. Today, I'm going to be explaining about a new Wimpicket book which was released last year though. Its name is No Brainer. This is the book No Brainer. This book is the, considered as the latest book and the main topic is about Greg Havley who is the main character if you didn't read any of the books and he, uh, his school is about to close because Greg Hefflees and his pals are performing very bad in the test and the school does not want it and they are losing money so what Greg is going to do is uh, trying to make the school like continue but he's not a big fan of the school but what he doesn't like is that if he doesn't pass the test he's going to go to a school called Slacksville uh, that's basically uh, uh, the his town's uh, like enemy town so Greg doesn't want to go to Slackville Middle School. So what he's going to do is try to pass. And then there's also another one called Fusion Tech. That's like a private school, really nice, you know how private schools are. And what Greg wants to do is basically just pass the test. Because first he was supposed to be going to Fusion Tech and he was happy, he didn't care about failing the test. He might have purposely wanted to fail the test, but after a girl dropped out, uh, no, his name is uh, Alex Aruta. He dropped out because he, he his parents wanted to bring him to private school and were not risking it because he's like the smart kid. They want him to have good education. So what Greg does is uh, like happy, fusion tech. He'll be happy anyways. Like middle school is middle school is not very good. They don't have any money. And then because Alex Aruta left, now the whole thing is changed. So now Greg is going to be going to Slacksville. His friend Rowley was used to going to Slacksville and Greg was going to Fusion Tech. Now it changed. Like he's back to, you know. And then what happens is Greg works hard for the test. But he's not much of like a the smart student, right? So he couldn't get enough. What happened was they failed the test. And then Larry Matt, uh, senior, he's basically a famous guy car dealership. He's like the ex-principal of the school. He has a lot of touch with the school. He got arrested for bribing and things like that though. But his son, Larry Mack Jr., um, her, his daughter studies in Slacksville Middle School. After Greg went to Slacksville Middle School, they both are like friends, his daughter. And then uh, his daughter tells uh, Larry Mack that uh, Greg is very smart and uh, because there it's like they're learning things in first grade. Things like uh, you learn in fifth grade but you're learning uh, first grade stuff in fifth grade so Sophie's used to that education so Greg now he's a smart kid and then they say that they can't even read the time by a proper clock so Greg is now called the time lord Greg likes his new popularity of course and then uh, what happens next is Larry Mack Jr. is kind of impressed because when they went to a hotel with Sophie and then uh, the ex-Latin teacher, he's a fake Latin teacher though, Greg's ex-Latin teacher, he, uh, he was working in a restaurant now because they fired him after they found he was a fraud. So what Greg did was, he was good at that type of Latin, fake Latin. So they both became uh, friends, like, you know, the teacher, like teacher's pet and things like that. And then when they met him in the restaurant, Greg was uh, speaking fluent Latin, you know, the fake Latin. And then the uh, Larry Mac Jr. was impressed and he hired the teacher back in the uh, his uh, Greg's original middle school. And since Larry, uh, Larry Mac has a lot of pull with the school, he just reopened it. Thank you for watching friends. Bye.